Hey folks, let's look at how we can prevent triggering discomfort for users with vestibular motion disorders. While this animation is cute and all, it can make some users feel literally sick if they have opted to reduce motion at the operating system level on their device, we should really respect that. I currently have the reduced motion checkbox checked in my system preferences, but the animation is still clearly happening. Since version 1.6, Tailwind offers new variants that let you honor that reduced motion preference using the prefers reduced motion media query. Before I can show you these, we need to enable the variants in our config file. Inside our variants property here, I'll target the animation core plugin and define the variants as a function. Defining them as a function is a new feature since Tailwind 1.8 and it gives you access to nice helper functions like the after that we're going to use here. After lets us keep the existing variants defined and add extra variants after that. We'll add two variants, motion safe and motion reduce. Okay, so check this out. I will prefix my animate wiggle class with motion safe to indicate we only want to show that animation if the user did not decide to reduce motion. Now our animation completely stops. If I toggle the reduce motion checkbox on and off, you can see the animation respecting that preference. We could perhaps have a more subtle animation as a base. Let's add animate pulse as a demo. And now we still have a fallback animation that is not as drastic if the user has checked the reduce motion box. While the motion safe variant will only allow an animation or transition to happen if the prefers reduce motion media feature matches no preference, the motion reduce variant will do the opposite. It will only target the scenario where prefers reduce motion matches reduce. If I remove the motion safe variant here and add the motion reduce here, the same outcome happens, but this time it's the pulse animation that overrides the wiggle animation. I've mentioned a few times that you can use these prefers reduce motion variants on transitions too. In our config file, let's enable the motion reduce variants on the transition property key and take a look at this example. When I hover over this square, it will transition some scale and background color properties. You can see the utilities applied here. On hover, we apply scale 90 and BG yellow 200 and we enable the transition to happen over 700 milliseconds. Let's say we want to disable the jarring slow scaling effect if the user opted for reduced motion. We have our transition class here and we can override it with motion reduce transition none. Now the transition will only happen if the reduce motion option is not selected. We could perhaps keep the background color transition. To do so, we change the class here from transition none to transition colors. And now our square still has some transition applied to it while respecting the desire to reduce motion.